All right, off a winning week, here we go. Time for another Blaze and Fox. That's a hot one. Let's blaze it up. Fire it up. It's Collins Blaze and Fox. Commanders and Lions. I like Detroit here at home minus one and a half. By the way, they're eight and two against the spread in their last ten games, so they're a good cover team. And people forget this. Jared Goff at home, at least, in Detroit's been great. 97 passer rating, 69% completion percentage. He's been a great home quarterback. Doesn't have a big arm, no wind inside. Commander's defense allowed almost six and a half yards of play to the Jaguars with a second-year quarterback and a bad old line. Detroit's got a really good line and lots of offensive weapons. Lions win 27-21. Patriots at Steelers. Uh, I'm going to take the Patriots minus two and a half, a slight favorite at Pittsburgh. First of all, Patriots haven't started 0-2 in 21 years. But beyond that, Belichick has really been strong against Pittsburgh and Tomlin. He holds them to about 18 yards a game. Mac Jones won six roadies last year. Don't worry about that. What I worry about is the Steelers. T.J. Watt out. Najee Harris not healthy. And let's be honest. Trubisky, they got a lead, and they basically clung to life. He averaged 5.1 yards per attempt with those receivers. This coaching staff doesn't trust this quarterback. I think Belichick's going to own Trubisky. It's going to be defense mostly, and the Patriots get a win 24-20. Buccaneers at Saints. Hey, listen, Brady's 0-4 against the Saints for a reason. They got really good defensive players. I like the Saints to win here. They're getting points at home. Jameis Winston, for all his quirkiness, was great in the second half. He's got Michael Thomas back. He had five catches. He's got Jarvis Landry now. That's a really good number two receiver. And the Bucs offense, O-line issues, banged up at receiver. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Julio Jones, Russell Gage, all banged up this week, along with their offensive line. And I get the Saints getting points at home. I mean, you watched Tampa last week. Dallas was bad. Tampa wasn't really that good. They struggled offensively. I like the Saints to win out by a field goal, 27 to 24. Bears at Packers. I hate big favorites, but I think Green Bay minus nine and a half is the big favorite I most love this weekend. Listen, they're nine and zero after a loss under Lafleur. Rodgers has owned the Bears 22 and two in his career. But here's the thing: the Bears, they got outgained by the Niners by 130 yards. Their offensive line ranked 31st, according to PFF. They averaged fewer yards per play than any team in the league and had the fewest yards. They just beat a worse offense. Chicago's not a good team. Chicago's got a bad O-line. The Packers' defense is, I think it's the best defense they've had personnel-wise. Maybe an Aaron Rodgers career. I think Green Bay rolls. The Bears' defense also allowed the highest passer rating to quarterbacks last year. That's why they drafted a corner and a safety with their first pick. Aaron Rolls wins by 11. It won't be that close, 31-20. Vikings at Eagles. Love the Vikings, but not Kirk Cousins on Monday night. I'm taking the Eagles here. I'm sorry. Andy Dalton, Kirk Cousins in a big Monday night game. I'm running for the hills. The Eagles scored 38 points. They had no giveaways. It's a productive offense. They had the most big plays in the NFL last season. Do you realize that? 128. It's a big play offense. They're just contrarian and different. Against the Lions, week one, they did it again. Passing, running, RPOs. This is a handful. It's hard to duplicate at practice. And Kirk Cousins is 2-9 and nine in his career on Monday night. And the Vikings are coming off a massive primetime TV divisional win. They pull back, go on the road. The Eagles are going to ball control you to death. So Justin Jefferson's going to watch more of this game that he's going to play. I like the Eagles to win a wildly entertaining game, though, 28 to 24 on Monday Night Football. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.